Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I just have a little uh, chalk couture idea, and I know I don't do many of the chalkboards. It's just really hard in the space that I have, um, and as I do more, I may be showing them. I've been working on some journals and things lately, so I haven't had a lot of time. But um, I really wanted to use chalk couture to do some of my Christmas present wrapping this year. That's kind of one of the reasons I um, got into it in the first place. And sorry, the light's kind of weird. The sun's coming in, and I don't know, I've got weird shadows and stuff. But anyway, so I like to do my own wrapping. Um, I don't really like buying all the wrapping paper that you get at the stores. I just think there's a lot of plastic and stuff that doesn't break down very well in it. And that's just my own thing, but um, these are just some ideas. Plus, this kind of thing is a little bit less expensive than normal wrapping paper that people just throw in the garbage. So I just kind of look at it as a win-win situation. So I got these plain white bags at the dollar store. It was two of them for a dollar. And then I'm going to use this month's, well, it's actually December's um, Home and Wreath. It won't be available till December 1st. But um, if you are a designer for Chalk Couture, then they send it to you early so that you can, you know, show people what that next month is going to be. So um, this is the one I'm going to use. I'm only going to use the wreath out of it. And I'm not going to use the really traditional Christmas colors. I'm going to use their um, Couture Teal and Stone and bright white, actually I probably won't be using the white for this part, and the candy apple red. So those are the ones I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is to peel this off and put it on a clean, dry towel just to fuzz it up a little bit because it's, it's um, super sticky. So I'm going to do that. I have a nice clean white towel here. I mean it doesn't have to be white, it doesn't matter what color it is. But I'm just getting it nice and fuzzed up so that it doesn't stick to my paper too much. So I'm taking it off and putting it on more than one time so that um, it gets nice and fuzzy. And I have folded my bag with the flap down. And you can see where the flap was. You know how they're up like this. You want to fold it down like this so that hopefully there's still a line there. But hopefully we're not going to get as bad of a line. And we can probably just bring it up a tiny bit. Kind of in the middle, you know. And for this, I'm going to use the couture, the teal color. These are the pine boughs. So I've already mixed this up, so you don't have to watch me do that. But it's kind of the consistency of yogurt is what you're trying to get. And I cut one of my um, little squeegees in half. I hope that the light's okay for you guys. It's really sunny here today, which is wonderful, but... It's kind of giving me some weird light in here. So anyway, so I'm just going to get some on one side. I mean, there's a little on the other side, but and I'm going to do straight across like this. And there are the little registers so you know where to put the next one. I just am worried that it's not going to come off of this bag if I do those. So um, I'm going to try to do it without them so I may not get a perfect lineup, but I just don't think I'll be able to get it off the paper if I do the little registers. But if you were doing a chalkboard, you would want to um, get the chalk on those little triangles so then when you bring the next one on, you know right where to put it. So I'm just getting all the extra off. And just really lightly until it's nice and flat. And then I'm just going to lift it. Kind of from the middle, not the sides. And so see, that gives me the pine boughs. And I've got some baby wipes that I'm just going to lay down on a plate with um, the painted side down on the baby wipe so that the sticky side doesn't stick to the plate. Wipe my fingers off a little. <laughs> because I always manage to get it everywhere. So see, that turned out pretty cool. And it just gives it a little dimension. That's going to go over there for now. And I'm going to put the lid back on this one. And then we're actually going to switch over to something else while we wait for this to dry entirely. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And I got this little jar at the dollar store, and I filled it with those little peppermints. 
you know, that you can get all over the place right now. You could do the peppermint sticks too, that would be really cool. And originally I had wanted to um, use the candy canes on here. And these candy canes are from the mini holiday icon set. So you do a layering uh, situation, like you put this one down, do white, peel it off, put down this one and do the red. The problem is I thought this little square in here, or rectangle, was going to be big enough to put these down. But it's not. But if you find a plain jar, this one has like a raised portion right here and these are raised and everything. This is nice and smooth. So I needed to find something to go right in there so I chose their Christmas tree instead. But if you got one that was all smooth, you could definitely do the candy canes and that would be super cute. So I'm going to fuzz this by putting it on the towel couple times, take it off, put it back on the towel, peel it off again, just so you can get them fuzzy so they come off easier. And then when you wash them, it comes off. You want to wash them in cool water. See, I even have a piece of fuzz stuck right up the top. I don't know what that. Okay, so I'm just going to put it right here as much in the middle as possible. Maybe a little bit more this way. Sorry, I hope my head, my big old head's in there, huh? Sorry. Okay, so I've got it all stuck on, and I did, you can see the bump right there and the stars there, so I think I am going to take it up and try to move it down a teeny bit because I want to try not to hit these bump lines on here. I'm going to fuzz it again. It's really sticky. <laughs> I haven't used this one yet, so I'm going to move it down a little bit this time. It's still a tiny bit up there, but I don't think it'll be that bad. I'm just going to press that. And I'm going to use that same couture tail. I just think that'll be fun because um, mm -hmm. that'll be like the bag that goes with uh, this gift. So I think it's fun if they kind of match each other. on here. And these are nice, inexpensive um, gifts that I try to give ideas for, but you know, they're nice. I don't think anybody would not like getting this. And so they make like great teacher's gifts or like co-worker gifts, things like that. If you have to do Secret Santa and come up with a whole bunch of different little things. I just think stuff like this is so much better than I don't know, some junky thing. So let's pull this up. And this is just the kind of stuff I like to do at Christmas. I like to make homemade gifts, so I just think it's a lot more fun, more personal. So there's the little tree. I think that looks cute. I like the idea of um, that kind of retro teal color because, um, you know, that jar has an old-fashioned look to it, and then those old peppermints like that, I just think it, it looks cute. So this is what it looks like. I think that's very cute. I think that would be a cute little gift. So it's just a simple little, it's a glass jar that I got at the dollar store. The lid is plastic, but I mean, that's a great teacher's gift. So I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. Put the lid on this. I don't get it everywhere, hopefully. And then I'm going to bring my bag back. And it's dry now, so that's excellent. And I'm going to take the next layer. And this is like leaves, and I'm going to get it fuzzy. And I don't have a bunch of colors, so I'm going to use gray. But if you have a color that you like better, um, you know, go ahead and use that. And I'm fuzzing it multiple times over here. So you just lay it on the towel, peel it up, lay it on the towel, peel it up, you know, that type of thing. So I'm going to do the best I can to get this kind of matched up. I can kind of see through the screen parts. So I'm going to come right in here. And it may not be perfect, but the thing is I do not want to leave those, those triangles on my 
um, paper bag. If I was doing it on a chalkboard or glass or something, I would definitely have used the, these triangles to help me mark where I need to be. So hopefully I'm in the right spot. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to use the gray, the stone color. If I can get the lid off. I have trouble getting the lids off these because they're kind of an awkward size. And I don't have the greatest hands in the world. I'm wiping off one of my tools here. Apologize. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is a beautiful fall day here um, in the West, but I don't know what everybody else is having. It seems like we've got pretty good weather happening out there. It doesn't seem like anything too horrible. We did get some snow in the mountains last night, so that was a little crazy, but So I'm taking some of the gray, and I'm just going to go right over these leaves. Try to kind of keep it one direction as much as possible, but sometimes you got to go another direction. Pasha's wandering around in here, so <laughs> he could end up in the middle of this at any moment. I'm actually surprised he's not in the middle of it already, but... He was up on my table, but he was just kind of staying back, so hopefully it will stay that way. So there's the gray. That turned out pretty cute. Another baby wipe here. Normally I would just go wash these, but I just don't want you guys to have to wait for me to wash them and come back and do all that. So I'm just kind of making a mess over here. I'll wash them all when I'm done. All right, so there's that one. And let's see, is this getting dry? Maybe that's just about, I think, yep, it's dry. So that one's already dry. So that turned out really cute. And now I'm gonna do the berries. I just wanna make sure that that's all the way dry before I do that. So I'm gonna pause for just a second and then I'll come back because I don't want you guys to sit and watch me wait for this. So I'll be right back. Okay, hi everybody, I'm back. So this is how it's turned out so far. So this is a three layer stamp, or not stamp, <laughs> um, transfer. So um, it has the pine, the berries, and the leaves and I didn't do it in that exact order but it doesn't really matter you're just using the three layers so now we're gonna do the berries and I'm going to fuzz them up a few times all right if you hear my cat digging being ridiculous like usual so I'm just taking it off, putting it on the towel. And then I'm going to come on here and try to get it on the best I can. Because like I said, I'm not using the little things. But luckily this is the berries. So, you know, as long as they're on there, it's good. I'm trying to get kind of... don't want it too far on one side. All right, so I'm just matching it up. And you can kind of see the wreath through it. So, I just want to make sure it's flat on there. And I'm going to use the candy apple red. I love this red. It's beautiful. I mean, all their colors are great. That um, couture teal is really great, too. That is such an awesome vintage color. And this is definitely like a lipstick or red nails or I don't know something it's really cool color so I'm just gonna go across this to scrape off extra and get rid of lines and I could have gone with the traditional uh, you know more of a pine grain too and that would have looked cool but like I said I was just doing that little candy jar had a retro feel to it so I just really liked using the um, the green. But if you just like using traditional colors when you're doing Christmas presents and wrap and whatever, then you can definitely get it. See, I have this, uh, what's this one called? Garden green. 
so that would go well too. Okay, I'm going to take this up. There's the little berries. Look super cute. And then I also have this little bow that comes with this particular one. Comes with the Happy Camper add-on, which is um, the whole... If you get the Happy Camper set, it comes with an old vintage looking camper. And then these are all the add-ons that go with it. And there's like a tree and there's, you know, um, garland and stuff to put on the trees. And it says home for the holidays. So if you're doing a big chalk sign, this is really cute. But it had a little bow. So I'm using that from the Happy Camper add-on. I just want to make sure you guys know where all these are. Because um, the... Holiday icon set doesn't come, or the mini holiday icon set doesn't come with a bow. So um, I don't want you thinking that it's in that set because it's not. But the cool part is with these transfers, they're very versatile and you can use them for so many different things and you can mix sets and you know it's really pretty cool. Sorry, I've got a corner that's stuck to itself. Okay, I'm actually going to try to dry this a little bit so you don't have to wait too long. That red is so pretty. It, it probably really didn't even need that, but I just was worried if I stuck the bow down there and then it got, you know, stuck to it or something. So I'm actually just going to kind of put this here because we don't need... It all the way up there and I'm just gonna bring it so it looks like it's right down on the bottom of the wreath and hanging down just a tiny bit make sure it's nice and smooth on there yep. and I closed up my red see how I am I'm just so worried I'm gonna like stick my finger in it or drag it across my desk or something it ends up on the floor that would be a disaster. Just getting a little red on there. I'm going to try to get this as flat as I can because that's kind of in that fold. Kind of want to get a good layer and you can see if it's too transparent looking, add a little bit more because otherwise it will look kind of transparent when you take it off. So. And this red kind of does that. And I'm just making a mess. I just don't want it to be too thin. Okay, hopefully that is good. So since I put this piece here, there we go. Turned out super cute. I think that would be a very nice gift to give someone. All handmade, and I think they would know that that bag, you know, was hand decorated and stuff too. I just, I think that's special when people take time to do that for you. Even if the gift, I mean, this gift probably cost me, I don't know, like $2 maybe. I mean, if I put some tissue in, maybe $2.50, maybe. <laughs> So I really don't think that that's a bad deal at all. And I think that's really good. You could add other things to the bag if you like more things on there. I thought it would be cute. I like to make um, pom-poms at Christmas time. This is one from last year, so it's kind of mashed and stuff. But um, I pulled it out of my Christmas wrapping stuff. So I would just tie this on up here to the handle. And then you could do a cute little two from on there or whatever. Could give a card, a handmade card. This um, chalk couture would work great to make cards as well because that would be an adorable card. You could do it on black or white or, you know, whatever you wanted to do. And then um, I would just put this right down inside in tissue paper and you've got an awesome, cute, kind of retro looking gift. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. I am doing a um, make and take tomorrow with my chalk couture. So Wish me luck. I'm excited about that. 
So I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.